My dear brothers and sisters, let me take this opportunity again to welcome you uh, to in this session. And today we are privileged actually to react on uh, on, uh, on 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 the church welfare, uh, actually welfare systems. And um, there is no any other organization in the world that has such a, a complex and a robust welfare system as the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And that's why you find uh, governments, religious organizations, different, wherever, they've always been visiting because they are, they are shocked. They've been shocked with the welfare system that the church is actually having and, and how the church is actually, you know, uh, ensuring that uh, this welfare system blesses not only members of the church, but even those who are, are not members of the church. You know, it has a very robust welf welfare system. And this welfare system was not just begun because somebody sat down uh, uh, and, and, and drew a plan. You know, this was actually a pure revelation that came from the prophet. And by then, it was prophet Heba J. Grant. He's the one, uh, 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 yeah, just to be so sure, it was Heba J. Grant uh, that actually started this uh, welfare program. Uh, and, 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 and that is how uh, the, the welfare program has gone. So this is actually a revelation. And the way it is being guided, it is guided by the revelation, the way the Lord will reveal, will reveal it, the way it's supposed to be run. And it is something that is so much organized to an extent that even governments are even shocked at this. And at one time, the U.S. president then, who was President Don, John Donald Trump, actually visited uh, the church welfare system and he was actually shocked of over what exactly is happening there. And please join me just to have a look of how actually President uh, uh, Trump really visited the church welfare square. Please join me. This is very exciting for me. I know so many people that are in your church. It's such a great honor. The job you've done is... Uh, is beyond anything you can think of. We're here in a place where we have food and uh, material that we uh, give to the poor. Good stuff. But this is a, simply an example of the, what we do across the world. One here next door. Come on outside. Let's get a picture. Come on. We're very proud of you. Really proud of you, John. Can you imagine? Can you imagine that the president of the United States then was actually, you know, very, very much amazed of of of, of what the church is actually doing. And I know the, the the video clip has been short, but actually there are so many things that the church is actually doing all over the world. The church is actually doing all over the world, and governments are aware of this. Governments are actually appreciating what the church is actually doing. And sometimes they are really even shocked of how the church is really doing it. But one thing is that it is not by, you know, the intellect of, of men. This is actually pure revelation. This is actually pure revelation. And that's why in one of the videos I said uh, that if our leaders will simply just read their scriptures, be good students to their scriptures, and let the Spirit actually guide them, they will be able to do exploits in their own countries. You know, they will be able to do exploits in their own countries. And at times even I wonder why some people will say uh, that uh, the, 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 the monies they contribute, it's, it's actually being, you know, taken to, 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 to wherever, to America, and, and, and that uh, only Americans are benefiting with the, with the monies. And all. Those, are, those are just are unwarranted claims. There is no way the church can eat your money, my friend. Those are unwarranted claims. This is actually a pure revelation. And by these revelations, you can see millions and millions of lives are being touched by these revelations. And that is why when you pay your tithing, the Lord will bless you. Because that tithing that you're paying, it is actually going to bless other people. And that is how it is. It is not that, uh, uh, that when you pay your tithing, that the church eats your tithing. I'm telling you, let me tell you one thing. When you look at the first presidency, 
of the church and then you look at uh, the quorum of the 12 all the way to the quorum of the 70 these are very prominent and wonderful prominent people in the society these are people of substance people who are well trained in their own professions these are people who have done exploits in their corporate world i will give an example the prophet russell m nelson actually has contributed in the medical world immensely and he's being reco- he's recognized as a, one of the greatest heart surgeons that has ever been you know one of the greatest heart surgeons that has ever been he contributed in developing a machine that could help the the, the 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 surgery progress of the heart actually be be more easier okay that the heart surgeon today are finding it so easy to do surgery because of the contribution of what uh, Russell M Nelson did and when you follow his explanation of what actually led him to make that discovery he will tell you it is from the scripture he will tell you it is from the scripture it was a direct revelation from the lord direct revelation from the lord you know and that is what scriptures can do that is what it means by being a, a good student of your own scriptures the lord can lead you to do exploits you know the lord can lead you to do exploits present rusalem nelson does not need anyone stifling no he doesn't this is a man who has done <laughs> exploits he doesn't even need you you know this is a person who has done exploits but tithing it is because the lord requires you to pay so that others who are needy so that what the church will need to do for the progress of the kingdom uh, can be done so that when you pay your tithing you are actually contributing to the building of the kingdom here on earth that is what it means and that is why in one of the revelations the lord is saying that you shall not actually be burned in that day when the earth will be utterly wasted you shall not actually get burned the lord will save these tight pairs because of your honesty because of your faithfulness the lord will bless you and that is why when you pay tithing you are not actually blessing the prophet you are not actually blessing members of the quorum of the 12 actually you are actually blessing yourself you play you blessing yourself now look at these exploits like that just welfare is one of the programs that you can see by revelation what the lord is doing in the hands of his people until governments are even shocked religions are shocked at this one of the clip i also saw that um, The, the the religious leaders those are from the muslim world are uh, from the from the from the hindu world and uh, and from other you know protestant churches including including catholic and orthodox visited the welfare square because they were just amazed over what exactly is happening and mark you the miracle is all those who are actually working in that welfare square they are purely volunteers they are, be, they are volunteers they are not being paid by anyone they are volunteers can you imagine and that is actually the essence of what the lord is trying to teach his children okay the lord is trying to teach his children and that's why sometimes i'm i'm, I'm just shocked that somebody will come up and claim that uh, their money is are, are being eaten oh they've been they've been fooled all those years you know it, it's just absurd you know it is it's just absurd Don't you see the Lord in this work? Don't you see the Lord in this work? Me I've never been to America. I've never been there. Never. I've never in other words I've just I've never been out of my let's say out of Africa. I've never because I've I've been privileged to visit other countries in Africa as a missionary. You know, like my temple I went to South Africa for a temple uh, serving a mission I was I was actually privileged to serve in the then Greater Kenya Nairobi Mission which had about four countries that was uh, that was Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, Ethiopia, okay? But right now there are many other countries which have also uh, come up like Rwanda, there is there is Rwanda, there is uh, South Sudan, there are many other countries that have come up with. But during those days the mission was only one that was Kenya Nairobi Mission which was actually covering 
Uganda, Tanzania, Ethiopia. And I was privileged to visit different countries within East Africa, that is, uh, that is uh, in Uganda. You know, I was privileged to be there and serve there as a missionary in Uganda. But I've never been there. But the Lord has actually made it easier that even those things that are happening outside uh, our own countries, we are able to see, you know, through, you know, internet. We are able to see now the world is becoming like a small village. We are able to see what exactly is happening outside the countries, outside our own continent, outside, you know, we can see. And this is exactly what the Lord is, is actually doing. And, and with this, I, I only see God in everything here. Because there is no human being who will say that they will sit down and, and design a project like this one. This is actually God. This is actually God. This is, this is actually God. And, and, and that is actually, uh, to be honest, this is actually God. And nothing more. This is actually God. And, and, and at times I'm so, so much, you know, worried with those people who are being led by certain spirits to claim that the church is not actually of God. When everything denotes, everything is showing, like the prophet Alma uh, told this man who was called Nehor, told him, look here, you are claiming that there is no God, but everything denotes that there is a God. And there are those who are claiming that this church is not being led by God. But we can see God in it. Everything shows that this is actually God, you know, running these things. You know, but people are so blind to see. My dear brothers and sisters, thank you very much uh, for being here and, and see you next time. Thank you very much.